Hi everyone, it's svgcoop.com and we are back working on our mini album for Halloween. It's MA012. I'm working on some new pages. Um, okay, so what we're going to do with this page is you're going to have um, a piece that looks like a pocket. And I cut mine um, out of patterned paper so I didn't have to put a little um, design on here. I'm just going to put some square tape inside the folds. This. And you're going to cut two of these pages. I think this is page two as far as like what the file names are going to be. Um, but it'll be in the instructions with the file names and stuff like that so you'll know which ones to do. Okay, I'm just going to pull the tape off of here. I'm going to turn my base paper over. I'm just going to get it right in here like this. Okay, get that in nice and tight and then just flatten that out like that. Okay, so instant pocket. Very nice. Now, you're also going to have um, another piece that's got a little notch out and then you have three sides of square lines so I'm just going to fold this on the three square lines and then you're going to have a matching piece that's going to go with it it has a single square line on it still has the notch cut out so we'll fold that there like that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to put score tape on the three sides of this one, like this, okay, I don't know what I do with my bone folder, so I'm using my little vinyl thing, so I'm going to pull these off. And what we want to do is we're going to stick this to it, but we want the tab to be left out. So I think I'm going to keep that up like that and just kind of line these up on the corner. There we go. Okay, so you have now a pocket with a little tab. And then you're going to have two design pieces that will, or pattern paper pieces that you can put on the front. So I'm just going to glue those down. And that's one. And then the other side. Now we're going to put some score tape along here. Just give that a little rub. And this is going to just get glued to the back of our page like this. I'm just going to fl flip that over, pull over the tape, and there we go. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, um, like I said, we're going to have two of those, so I have another set here that I will put together on the side, but we're going to put that aside for the minute. And we have a couple of things we're going to do. Uh, we're going to make four Halloween cards, basically, that are going to go inside of our pages, they're inside the pockets and stuff. So the first one is going to be this tri-fold. So you're going to be cutting some triangle pieces out and a couple rectangle pieces. And then you're going to have a piece that looks like this. So it's got a diagonal score line, three straight, and then another diagonal. So we want to fold this way. And we're going to fold the diagonal 
out like this. We'll fold the other one in as well. Like this. And we'll fold the other one out. Now we may have to fold these back the other way. Um, I'm just not sure here. Let's see. I'm gonna fold this one in. So I think. Let's just fold them both ways. All the folds both ways. And we'll figure out which way this thing is supposed to actually go. Just grab it. Just gonna do this because it'll make the folds a little bit better. A little cleaner. That. And then this comes around and folds over. Okay, so let's try that again. Lessons in trifold card making. Okay, so the first one is going to fold over like this, down like this, and then the rest is going to fold underneath and over again. So we kind of have like a, so you can see kind of what it looks like, how it's laying in there. So this is kind of doubling up on the inside. All right. And then what we're going to do is you have pieces that will go on um, both sides. So I'm just going to do that. Sometimes these things are a little tricky. So once we have these on, it may be a little bit easier to see which way they go. These do have to go specific ways because they won't fit the wrong way. Just get that on there. Okay, so just to wrap this one up, I'm just going to put some. Um, pattern paper here on the middle pieces. I think I like that side. Just get those glued down. And then you're just going to glue the matching pieces to the back. So I'm not going to show you doing that because I'm pretty sure you guys can do that. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is our card is going to fold like this. And once we do the back, you'll have pattern paper, you know, on these pieces here. But then it will... Okay, the next thing we're going to work on, we're going to work on um, one of the cards that's going to go inside of our page. So you're going to have four pieces that look like this. You're going to have score marks going across and then one set that's going diagonally. And here's one that I haven't folded yet. So you want to fold on all the score lines. So I'm going to fold the two that are, you know, just going across like that this way. And then the ones that are going diagonally, I'm going to actually fold the opposite way. So I'm just going to fold that in half that way. Give it a good rub. Okay. And these are all going to essentially fold into squares. But what we want to do 
going to lay these diagonally like this. And you want to have it so that the diagonal uh, cut is going to be going up and down. So we're going to basically glue these like this and like this. So I'm going to grab some glue, put it on the back of this square. And that's going to match up with this one, but I'm just going to slightly go inside of it. I don't want it to be exactly up against the score line because I want it to be able to bend. Okay, so we got that one. And then we're going to put some glue on the back of this one. Glue that on like that as well. Okay. And then this is going to all fold up into a lovely little square here. Let's see, fold this one in. So basically what's going to happen is you're just going to have this very big card that opens and then you can just fold it all right back like that and then we're going to stick that inside the pocket of our page like this. Now this, what you're going to find um, is you're going to be cutting all of the pieces that will go inside. So you're going to have a bunch of little squares that you can put inside like this. And then you're going to have a lot of um, triangle pieces. So you're just going to glue these onto both sides of your um, card. And then we can uh, we can do some um, SVGs or whatever that you can use to accessorize your card, but basically you're just going to finish gluing on the pattern paper until the slots of where it goes, and they're very easy. You're just going to have a stack of little triangles, and they're all the same size, so it doesn't matter, and you'll just be able to place them on there. You can do them, you know, kind of crazy in designs. They don't have to be the same, you know, like this, and you're just going to fill it in and get all these things glued onto your card both sides and then we'll put it back together. All right, that's it for that card. We'll be back with the next one. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, it's svgcoop.com and we are back working on our second card in the group for our page two and probably um, six page. So you're going to, we're going to do two of these cards. One's going to be large and one's going to be small. So the little one, you're going to have a long piece and it's going to have score lines this way, this way, and then two that are um, vertical. So basically you're just going to fold the left side over and then fold this one up. And then you can fold the right one over this way and then fold the score line down. And then basically what we're going to do is put patterns on here and then you're going to have kind of a little surprise there. So basically what's going to happen is you're going to have this card like this and you'll have some pattern paper pieces that you can just glue on like this. And I'm not going to glue all of these on. It's just to give you kind of an idea. So I'm just going to glue a couple of these. So you have the triangles. And this is a lot like the other card that we did that I didn't show you gluing all of those triangles on just because you would be really bored. Let's see. And I'll just glue these on. 
And then you can add extra SVGs to this if you want to, or you know, really can do anything. And I will give you some extra SVGs that you can cut out to accessorize all of these. Okay, so basically that's going to be how that's going to look, and then um, you'll do the back, so you can put some on the back, okay? So that's that little card. Now we're going to do a bigger version of it, only with the bigger version, um, because we can't cut something that big, what we're going to do is you're going to have a piece that has a score line on your left and a diagonal this way. So I'm just going to fold this on the score line. Let's put the cap on my glue here. And I'm just going to put some tape here. Okay, pull that off. And you have an option. You can either cut pattern paper out of the bigger square, or you can cut it in black. And I also gave you files to cut a smaller piece. So I'm just going to turn this over and line this up like that. And I'm going to just fold this on the score line down this way. Now if you want to, you could just do half of the card like this and just have it open, you know, like that. Oops, sorry. Um, but we're going to do the other side too. So I'm going to fold this one on this score line. And you want to make sure that your diagonal is heading north this way. So we're going to put some square tape here. And then I'm going to just do what I did before and just line this up and fold that over. I'm going to fold this up on the score line. Okay, mine's off a little bit. Um, okay, whoops. So then you're going to have the triangle pieces that Again, you will just glue on here. So I'm going to grab my glue. And I'm not going to glue all of them, just to give you an idea. Okay. Now what we could do is we could actually put a magnet in the back. And we could put an SVG on the front, and that's how it could stay closed if you want to make it fun. Okay. I'm just going to glue two more on. And of course you can glue the ones on the back. Um, I'm not going to, because I used pattern paper for the center piece, I'm not going to put anything on the back there. But of course you could use that area to write your sentiment if you wanted. Or like I said, you could use it in black and then you could cut some smaller pieces to go with it. I'm just going to close and glue this. that. Okay, so you would just put your other pieces on the back and then this will just fold like this. And again, we can, if we want to, we can put a magnet and something in the front, flower, anything. Um, and if you want to, you could, let's see, I think, no, I don't, I don't have a piece that's big enough, but basically you could get, you know, a bigger piece and put something here if you wanted to. If I'd used black, you would have been able to. Do, I would have been able to do that, but I'm just going to leave this one this way. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with our next card in just one minute. Hi everyone. It's SVGcoop.com, and we are back working on our um, third card for the Halloween mini album. So I just wanted to show you how we're going to be doing this. You're going to have a piece that's going to have two slits 
in the middle and you're gonna have some score lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold on the two sh uh, outside ones, you're gonna fold on the second score line in like this. Okay, so it's gonna be like that. And then the next one we're gonna fold down so the opposite way. Fold this this way. And then let's see, so the plan. These actually will go down. This one will come up. And this is gonna fold. Make sure I fold this on the score line here. This way. Gonna give them a little fold there, and this is going to fold this way. Basically, this is how your card is going to sit. So you're going to, the, this one's going to fold down, this one's going to fold down, this one's going to fold underneath that way, so the next one will fold underneath, this one's going to stay straight, and this middle section is going to fold underneath your left side, and it's going to land on your right side. So, let's see, I just want to make sure you can see that. So. This is folded down, this is folded down, this comes down, and then these come down like that as well, and it just folds over like that. So then what we're going to do, simple enough, we're just going to glue pattern pieces of paper onto the front and back of the card because if you can use it for both sides if you want to. So I'm just going to... Might make it a little bit easier to see how it's folding as well. Okay. Oops. And again, I'll give you some SVGs that you can use to decorate your cards with. So you can put some extra things on here. You could also use um, stickers, you can use put little tags on here, you could lots of other things you can use. As long as you have the basic pieces down, then you can decorate it any way you like. So I'm just going to get these glued down here. I'm only going to do one side and then you can obviously do the other side yourselves. And you could do it where all the pieces are the same if you want, or you can do them varied like I did, because you can put little sentiments on here, you can put little, like I said, tags on here, whatever you want. It's just a really cute little trifold card. I'm going to glue the other pieces onto the other side, but at least now you can kind of see how this would fold. Okay, so this piece is going to fold under. You can see the middle section is how that's folding like that, and then the other pieces will just fall in place. And then, of course, you would put the other pattern paper on the back. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back.